Hey everybody, this is Captain Obvious, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. What I have for you today is a Mushroom Kingdom house. Uh, you could build as many of these as you want. The best part is that they're really, really easy, and I think they look kind of cool. This one, these two are like two different design roofs that I did. Uh, I like that roof a lot better. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could put them together. I I actually put down, I, I don't know about the fence. The fence looks kind of ugly. Not kind of, it looks ugly. But I do like, uh, I do actually like using... Where is that? I don't even know where it is. Now. Oh, there it is. I just had it. Uh, hay bale. I love using hay bale for the floor. That looks really cool, like when you're making a little cottage. And you don't have to put the red around this uh, on the bottom. I just think it kind of reinforces the color. But you can mix and match. Uh, I mean, I, here's a red one, but uh, actually we can go ahead and build a purple one. Just to kind of show you. So let's get rid of the red. I mean, you could literally just build whatever color you want. It doesn't really matter. So, or let's use blue. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's go inside the house. All right, so it's a survival house. So we have, instead of having the bedroom first and kitchen and all that, we don't need any of that crap. We have our storage. Okay, it's it's a survival house first and foremost. So you're going to need all your stuff to survive. And then you come up here. I don't really like the, the lights on the ceiling, but I needed some lights. So I just went ahead and put them in. You can, go, you can get rid of them if you like. You know, in my texture pack, they're white, so they, they blend in a hell of a lot better. But then you just have four beds, four simple beds, just a, just a little bit of design, nothing nothing too fancy up here, and then some carpet, again just for some extra design. Let me just go downstairs. Whoa, come on. So yeah, that's basically that. <clears throat> okay, so now we just get out and we'll learn how to build it. And my goodness, I'm stuck. All right, so let's get rid of all of these ingredients and let's get the ones we're gonna need first and foremost. So we're going to need that. We're going to need that. I don't know why I have sand here. We don't need any sand at all. None whatsoever. We're going to put a door down. The oak fence gate. Uh, trying to think. Trying to think. I think we're going to need these two first. Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. So here's everything you're going to need. You're going to need some white stained clay. Blue stained clay. A block of quartz. Uh, white stained glass pane, a white stained glass, spruce door, oak fence gate, dark oak, dark oak stairs, dark oak planks, some quartz slabs, <coughs> some quartz stairs. You're gonna need wooden trap doors. You're gonna need ch some chests and some trap chests. So those two go together. You're gonna need some jungle leaves. I think they look the best of all the leaves. A ladder, a bunch of beds, a bunch of glowstone, some carpet of your color choice. I'm just gonna use gray. Probably should have used red. That would probably would have looked better. Uh, birch planks, birch wood slabs, some flower pots, and some paintings. Really quick, guys. I'm actually going to swap out the light gray uh, wool for uh, purple. Pur I mean, carpet, sorry. For purple carpet. And what did I just get rid of the door? Okay, so let's build it right next to it, shall we? Let's do it like right here. All right, so you're going to start with a three three by three and figure out where your door is we'll make the door somewhere else three by three okay then you're gonna come out two again you're gonna go up three come up one so it's three two one both all of them are three high then go this way two and then one two three okay same thing so now it's just a repeatable pattern uh, all the way around we're just making a circle just like so. Okay, I was gonna cut away, but you know what? It's pretty. This is pretty fast. This is not going too far, too long. Uh, three, and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna pop some of this stuff out. So don't worry about that. We'll make some windows and, whoops, we'll make it look really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's break this right here, because that's not where my door is gonna be. Oops. Glass pane. Break that glass pane it's always the middle one of the three and then we'll have our door actually right here so we can break it just like that okay now come to your uh, window put a fence gate right on it if this thing wants to work there we go and open it up okay so same thing fence gate there and open it up that's our oh here we go and right there and open it up so there you go so that way it looks like you know, you get the windows open. Okay. 
now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna keep going up <gasps> I did the wrong color oh no it's supposed to be the white stain clay first all right we're gonna reverse it we're gonna go reverse we're gonna reverse mushroom this this bitch all right so we're gonna go up I, another two so the bottom is the only one that's three everything else is two well we're about to see how the reverse mushroom looks okay just like that I guess it really doesn't matter okay just like so like that I'm also gonna change the change up when I do the the mushroom dots like these things wait where are they when I do these I'm obviously not gonna do white cuz it's gonna look really stupid so I'll just go ahead and do purple on that or maybe I'll try white and see how it looks okay just keep doing this all right so the next the next one up is gonna come out uh, one more okay so you're gonna have one more come out but you can actually make this right here okay so one two three you can actually make this six high so it's too high now three four five six okay so let's just do that for all it is okay so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna find the third one up so third and you just go all the way around with it all you're gonna do is just come out again with it like that oops much easier to do it this way trust me it takes a lot a lot less time okay so you're just gonna come in there like that all right and then once we come to the other side we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna do it on top again we're gonna go all the way around still can't believe that I I put the wrong color that's okay no problem like I said, you can mix and matches. If you have a whole village, you're going to want to do different colors anyway. All right? And then you're just going to come in with it now. And now every single one is one in. And make sure you make those harsh corners like that. Okay? You don't want to leave it. You don't want to leave it like this. You want to break those, <coughs> excuse me, break those corners. Okay? So then we make this nice and high. Now, my inspiration for this was uh, Smurf Houses. Uh, I grew up, uh, you know, obviously in the 80s and... Uh, I loved the Smurfs. I used to have like this little plastic like Smurf castle thing. It was awesome. Uh, but this was kind of my inspiration for for coming up with it. It wasn't uh, Mario, you know, when I said Mushroom Kingdom. It wasn't Mario. It was really the Smurfs. But Mushroom Kingdom sounds a hell of a lot cooler because I don't think everybody knows what the Smurfs are. I know there was the movie, the like the live movie with the CGI, but the cartoon was so much better so much better okay there we go and I also think that like baby blue could work really really well uh, with white that's kind of like you know the, the whole smurf colors themselves I think that could actually work oh there's my Oreo cookie house over there <laughs> which is actually kind of cool whoops okay let's just keep going Oops, did I screw that up? Yeah, I did. And the way you want to do it is you want to get to the top when there's only, when there's a, th a three by three square left. So once you do that, uh, you know you've done it right. So we're, I mean, we're closing in on it. We're almost there. Uh, I just have to figure out what spots I want to do. I think purple would look okay, but I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's too, too purpley on the bottom then. Yeah, we are we are seriously closing in on it, guys. Should be the next one after this. Yep. All right, so there we go. And then, so once you get to the top, and it is three by three. Okay, just like that. And then you put that in the center. And let's take a look at our house with this color. Hmm. It doesn't actually look terrible. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Okay, now let's go in and add our spots. So what you want to do is you want to find the 3x3 three three area that we started out with. So you have this one and then that one. Okay, so you have the first area, which is the base, and then 2 and 3. So on the third one, you're going to break that, and then you, on this one, you're going to break that. How does that look? Mm, I think I need the darker spots. Let's just go darker. Yeah, much better. All right, so you're going to do that in all the 3x3s. Three three. So again, you're going to break that and that. And that kind of gives it this spot, the spot look that we're looking for. Okay, you can break that and that. 
and same thing over here okay now for this one down here see how you have these three going across one the two the two and then the one look up to this when it branches out and then we're gonna go right so we're gonna go this this and this 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 and this so here take a look at it okay you can pause it right there if you need to and we're gonna do that to all of them okay so now that we got that done now we're gonna come up to the top and add the final one okay so if you look up here you'll notice where the singles are there's one two three four five of those singles or I'm sorry six of those singles okay we're gonna come down three so one two three we're gonna put one there and we're gonna put one there okay and then once you do it it's very easy it's the middle of all of them on the third and the fourth row on the third sorry and the fourth rows okay so you just go like that boom all right and there you have it so now the outside is completely done let's go take a look at it that really does not look terrible and that's what I'm saying like you can totally mix and match the colors you can invert that color too all right so then what I did obviously is I did the red so we're gonna go ahead and do uh, that's the roof we're gonna go ahead and do the white stain clay on the top okay so that is where the door goes so now we just go around now we did now we don't have those harsh edges now we're gonna go ahead and have those smooth wraparound edges instead of doing like that we're gonna actually go like that okay and again you do not have to do it I just think it looks really good I think it just reinforces uh, the roof uh, kind of mirrors it a little bit and just makes it um, pop a little bit let's let's go take a look yeah I like it it's kind of like it it's kind of like it's a uh, a shadow of it I really think it looks good okay let's go over here wait where is it here we go okay so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come inside here and we're just gonna put this all the way around okay just like we did before whoops okay, so come all the way around with it okay and then we're gonna go ahead don't worry we're gonna put that purple in too. now we're gonna go ahead and put that purple in just like so and again we're just reinforcing the colors I just wanted everything to be kind of uniform um, rather than adding new elements in here Okay, and obviously that is where our, our thing is going to go, our ladder. So you just go ahead and put your quartz down. And then again on the inside here, we're going to go ahead and put down that white stained clay. Perfect. All right, so uh, if you're doing the red, where is it? Where's that door? Okay, so if you're doing the red, you're going to end up with the red in the middle. Okay? Just like that. And we actually have to go ahead. I forgot. We have to go ahead and add some glowstone. First, what we're going to do is we're going to put the door on the inside. I think it looks better on this house with the door indented a little bit. You don't have to. You could do it the other way if you want. I just like it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. We're going to put our door away. We're going to put that away. We're going to take our glowstone. We're going to take our jungle leaves. Uh, we could put the glass away. We're going to take our ladder block of quartz that can stay we don't need that I don't think uh, we're gonna take our painting our quartz stairs and our chests we're gonna need definitely need our chest all right so now what we're gonna do is everywhere where there's a chest we're gonna go ahead and put a uh, glowstone so it's gonna be here so all the doubles anywhere we see a double the two the two walls like that you just put oops damn it you just put that there let me just finish this up. Okay, so now it's nice and light. Come in here. Boom. Now it's lit up. Okay. And now you go ahead and put your chest down. Oh, wait, that's right. I don't think we need trap chest anymore. I had trap chest in the original uh, design. Yeah, I don't think we need trap chest, guys. I think we're okay. I think we are okay. And we're just going to do this all the way up to the top of the blue slash purple. It definitely says blue clay, but it looks purple to me. Unless I'm colorblind and I don't know. Okay. So that's like that. Cool. <clears throat> then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here in the corners. Uh, yeah, we're doing it on that side. Okay, on the corners. And you're going to put... 
your dark oak planks. And then actually, just for good measure, go ahead and put down some glowstone right there because it will come through a little bit on the stairs. And then you're going to put your stairs right in the middle. Okay, then you're going to come up just like that with your uh, jungle wood. Okay, just like that. Awesome, guys. You're doing really well. Okay, now we're going to come in with our quartz. So first, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go around. And you know what? We might as well. I was going to say let's add some of this, but no, never mind. And now we're just going to go around. Do not put solid blocks on top of the chests. So just go everywhere where there's a, a like a either a purple block or a tree or a, a leaf block. You can go ahead and put it down. Okay, just like that. Cool. Now above these, we're going to go ahead and put uh, stairs just like that. Okay. And is that it? No, one more. Perfect. Okay, now we can go ahead and fill in the rest. Okay, now we can fill in the rest of the floor. Oh, bring this up first. One, two, three. Yeah, just, just bring that up so you know exactly where it is. And then put your entrance wherever you are. So I have it in the opposite side of the door. So the door's here. So this is where I'm gonna I'm not gonna cover just like that okay so that's whoops that's where I'm not gonna cover I'm gonna leave that part blank okay so now just get yourself a floor going again you can use whatever whatever color you want doesn't matter whatever tickles your fancy okay beautiful all right let's go back down and just finish something up real quick now we just want to go ahead and put some paintings above the area like that. Try and get different paintings. Sometimes I'll get lucky. Ooh. Do I have that one? Oh, I already have that one. I know that there's four of them. Do I have that one? I do. Okay, now we're good. All right, so those are my four paintings. I just think it looks really cool like that. All right, and then we're going to come in here. We don't need our stairs anymore, so we can get rid of that. Let's bring down our ladder. One, two, three, four. Come up. Put the ladder away, and now we could bring out our trap doors. <coughs> okay. And I don't, th again, I don't think we need the purple. I think we could put the purple away. I th think we could put the quartz away. Let's take out our bed. Uh, let's take out our flower pots. And um, I didn't put anything for the flower, pl flower pots because you guys can put whatever you want. I used cactus last time. We can go ahead and put a plant this time. Um, so yeah, that's that's completely up to you. But first, let's put our beds down, right in those corners, right in that, um, the middle there. I mean, sorry, not the corner. Right in the middle. Perfect. Cool. Looking good. All right. Then what we're gonna do is right above that purple, we're gonna go ahead and put these blocks like this, the dark oak. Okay. We're gonna take our trap doors and just go on the outside of them. And they're just supposed to be like, it's supposed to look like a little shelving unit, that's all. Like little cubbies. Alright, we can put that away. And let's take out our uh, quartz slabs again. Perfect. Um, how did I get light in here? What did I do over there? I forgot. I think, I know I did it in the ceiling. So what we're going to go ahead and do is right underneath here. Like this. We're going to go ahead and put that down. Oh, but first, I'll tell you what. First, do the top. Or you know what? Don't even. Do it on the bottom. Yeah, we don't even need to do that. Just go like this. You can go up another layer if you want. If you wanted a third room, uh, you could just go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to be showing you how to do that. So just make sure they're bottom slabs and not top ones so nothing can spawn up there. You don't need light at all. Just, um, yeah, just put it. You don't need any kind of light. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and this is going to look a little bit different than I did in, uh, in the other one because I put it on the bottom here. Because before I had it on the top in the other one. That's why you'll notice the, if you go back to the beginning, you'll notice the glowstone is hanging down a bit. And I didn't like that too much. So, let, yeah, let's just find the center. We can go ahead and put that down. It's going to be really dark. So find the center. And we can just start breaking like that. All right, and I'm just going to go across with it. Again, you guys can do whatever pattern you want for light. You know, go crazy. There we go. 
but that that should be enough to light up the entire room there we go beautiful okay and now what we're gonna go ahead and do is take our flower pots and let's get some kind of plant in here uh, let's do the azure is that how you say it azure bluette yep okay we'll put some azures in here like that very nice or you can mix and match or if you're sharing the space with somebody let them pick their own flowers and one more whoops boom yeah that looks really good really really good okay <clears throat> so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna put our paintings up okay so I'm just gonna do this really quick right above the beds and that's just to help me get the the size I need if you guys notice I'm going in and out it's because I'm I, my uh, my voice is um, my throat is dry and my voice is cracking really bad because I'm getting sick again Okay, nope, we don't want that one. We want the other one. The guy with the little red, uh, the the red hat, or the guy with the red coat and the other hat. There we go. That's the one we want. Boom. Okay, so I think there's only those two tall paintings. I could be wrong. Uh, there we go. On default, I'm pretty sure that's all it is. Okay, so you got them opposite each other. And now let's just go ahead and do the floor so we can go ahead and right where this purple is right here. We'll just go to that. Okay, and then match everything up. Actually, you know what? Let's go. No, let's do that. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's right. They're opposite. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. So what we want to do is go one away from the bed. Like that. Yep. That's what we want to do. I forgot because we put them on opposite ends when we were doing it. I mean, that's the way they're supposed to be. It's not like I didn't mess up. That's the way, that, that's the way I designed it. But it, when you come in here, it's not going to look even. There we go. It's kind of a little funky, but uh, it's doable. It's doable. It looks, it looks good. Nice and, yeah, nice and bright. And it's just a little something to have in the world. Okay, so now we can go downstairs. And that's that, guys. That's your tutorial. That is your, that is your little mushroom house. And if you start, whoops, where is this door? <laughs> if you start, um. You know, if you start building a bunch of these, experiment with the different colors. Uh, but yeah, this could totally be your village. You just have one house style. Everybody has it the same. You can put some villagers in there if you want. Uh, but that's going to do it for me, guys. All right? So until next time, Captain Ivers out. Peace. <laughs>